Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this trigonometric identity and we are going to prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So let's look at this uh, equation on the left hand side. We got sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta. Everything is divided by 2 cosine cube theta minus cosine theta equals to tangent theta. So let's go ahead and get started with the proof and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this left hand side part of this equation. This one, so I'm going to write down the left hand side of this equation. And here I have just copied down the left hand side as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and simplify this fraction. As you can see on the numerator, we can factor out sine of theta because that is in common. So I can factor out sine of theta. If we factor out sine of theta, we are ended up with 1 minus 2 sine square theta on the numerator divided by likewise in the denominator we can see that cosine theta could be factored out so let's go ahead and do that one i'm going to factor out cosine theta so in the parentheses we're going to have a 2 cosine square theta minus 1 and now let's go ahead and manipulate this fraction over here wherever you see on the top in the numerator wherever you see 1 and here this one I am going to replace it by sine square theta plus cosine square theta. So this trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1 is very crucial in proving uh, trigonometric identities. So thus we can write this fraction as sine theta and then I'm going to replace this 1 by this thing. So I can write sine square theta plus cosine square theta and then minus 2 sine square theta on the numerator divided by cosine of theta and I'm going to write down 2 cosine square theta minus once again I'm going to replace this 1 by sine square theta plus cosine square theta let me just write it down inside parentheses sine square theta plus cosine square theta and now let's go ahead and further simplify this thing. I can write sine of theta outside and let's open up these parentheses sine square theta plus cosine square theta minus 2 sine square theta and then divided by cosine of theta and here I'm going to write down 2 cosine square theta and since we have this minus sign outside this parentheses so let's open it up it's going to switch the signs so this become negative sine square theta and this become negative cosine square theta now let's go ahead and further simplify this thing i'm going to write it on the right hand side over here since we are running out of space on the left so we are going to write down sine of theta outside and inside the bracket we can write down this sine square theta minus 2 sine square theta is going to give us negative sine square theta. So I can write this one as a cosine square theta minus sine square theta and divided by cosine of theta inside the bracket we can see that we got this 2 cosine square theta minus cosine square theta is going to give us cosine square theta and then minus sine square 
theta. Now we can see that this cosine square theta minus sine square theta and this denominator cosine square theta minus sine square theta they cancel each other out so we simply ended up with the sine theta divided by cosine of theta and here's our table for trigonometric identities and we can see that sine theta divided by cosine theta equal to tangent theta so that means this sine theta divided by cosine theta could be written as tangent theta and we can see that this is same as our right hand side over here as you can see so thus we have proven that our left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side and that's our proof thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye